Today has been nothing but a crazy day. I don't know what is going on. I have no idea. <sighs> this is never gonna stop. This is just the beginning. Wait till you see what's been happening here. You know, I've been dealing with what I believe has been paranormal and I've been sharing it here on YouTube. And today, I feel like somebody is trying to scare me out of my house or discourage me from walking around or riding my bike or exploring places around here or hitting the road and going some other places. Somebody apparently doesn't want me doing these things. And here is why. And I got footage on my ring camera. And I'm, I'm not afraid to share it here because whoever's doing this, they need to stop. So there's ring footage in here. And then somebody left evidence in my garage. So here's what's been happening. And then I got some footage of me hanging out with my friends. But uh, let's just take it one thing at a time here. So here it is. I just got notifications from my ring camera. And I heard something in my garage. And there was a person detected both in my garage and in the driveway, I was just running over here to see what the hell was going on. And I saw a white car. A white car just left this driveway. So somebody's been in there. I'm going to find out who the hell it was. Somebody literally walked into this garage. Because the only way that they can make the camera detect a person while in the garage is if they're in the garage all the way. There he is standing right next to my bicycle. And then he starts walking out of my garage, up the driveway past my Tesla, over to his car, which is parked right near my driveway. All right, so whoever it is, they're, they're skinny. They look like they might weigh about 140 pounds or so. They're shorter than me for sure. Like who the hell? I went and checked the ring footage. I figured I would just look through all of it. And there was a person that legit walked into my garage. Now sometimes I get false alarms on my ring camera and it may detect something as a person when it's not a person. But when I saw a white car pulling away from what looked like it was right near my driveway. Then I figured it's definitely got to be someone. And sure enough, it was. And somebody went over to my bike. Because I have a bike here in the garage. Somebody went over to the bike. So I have no idea what the hell they were doing on my bike. But they legit. I have my bike right here. And they. What the. All right, what the fuck. is wrong with people I'm trying to think of what the hell this means what the fuck does this mean all right somebody leaves a somebody's a fucking note on my bike why the hell would somebody stick a note on my my bicycle. It's the thing. It's what it says. That's what's got me wondering because I have no idea what it means. Literally, it says, your time is up. My time is up? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Is that a threat? Somebody tell me my time's up. Put something on my bicycle? Somebody legit comes to my house, walks into my garage, walks right past my Tesla, and sticks a note on my bike. Now, I did ride my bike the other day through this neighborhood. And then I ended up going down this road. It was a bike trail, all right? It was in the middle of the woods. I went down the bike trail. And it must have been like three or four miles down there in the middle of nowhere. And then I heard somebody yelling, get out of my backyard get off my property i'm like this is a public right away this is we are allowed to go down here but apparently somebody thinks they own part of the bike trail 
That's the only thing I could think of is somebody got angry that I went down. But what the hell? How would they know where I am? How would they know? When I leave, I, because I left my garage door open, they saw my bike. It's like, how are they going to know? How, I mean, how many other bikes out there are the same color? And in fact, you just can't. Somebody actually must have been following me. They must have followed me back here. Whoever it was must have been following me, and I wasn't even paying attention because I was riding my bike. Normally, I'm always looking behind me because I'm always cautious, but that's when I'm driving. But I wouldn't be expecting anybody to be following me when I'm riding my bike. I mean, I'm trying to get ready for Halloween. I got, I got my Halloween stuff going on in the closet here. You know, I, I want to be doing stuff outside. I got friends coming over in a few days. I don't need this. I don't need this. No, your time is up. My time is up. Really. I went to look over the footage again, and then I just looked closer. Because I was trying to figure out why was he in the garage as long as he was. Besides putting a note on my bicycle, he bent down and done this as well. There he is bending down, picking up something, and walking away. And that is something that I own, that he has taken. I analyzed the footage closer and realized something's missing right there. I had a little... Handheld flashlight, it is gone. He went down here, bent down, picked it up, and walked away with it. I take that flashlight everywhere with me when I'm walking, in addition to using my iPhone light. There's no reason for anybody to be taking my property. So he went and took that as if it was his own flashlight and walked over to his car. He had his trunk open, God knows what he was gonna try to put in there. But maybe he thought twice and decided not to follow through with whatever he had planned besides leaving a note. I don't take shit from nobody. Nobody's going to try to intimidate me with notes or scare me with notes. Find out what the hell's going on. Doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Totally doesn't make sense at all. So what I don't understand is when I got the notifications there, I did get a, sens a sensor that showed that there was motion back here. But it didn't say a person was detected, but it said motion was detected back here. But I would normally, if it was a person, it would say person detected. I had no idea. Got me. Let me get, I'm gonna get in the car. Because I could sit out here and just wait. They're probably not gonna come back again. Probably not. But why the hell would they come up here knowing there's, there's a Tesla in the driveway? Don't people know that Teslas have a bunch of cameras in it that see what you're doing? And then, of course, the ring cameras. That might not be as obvious. Let me get down the street. I'm going up the street to find out who the hell came here to my house and went in my garage? Now, about a mile from here, there's a bike trail. I'm just gonna drive over there and I'm gonna start walking down that bike trail. And I'm gonna go in an area where that person started yelling. And I'm gonna see what's going on. 
right there is part of the bike trail that leads to where I go shopping. This part of the bike trail goes way back there for miles. And some guy apparently thinks that uh, he owns part of this trail. And this comes right out to a shopping center. So this end here takes you right here to the store, right in there. Nobody's there. I don't know what the hell's going on. So apparently they're not there yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go later on my bike and I'm gonna go back over to that bike trail and I'm gonna see if that person's there because that person seemed very aggravated that I was riding my bike down that trail, which is a trail that most everybody who has bikes in this neighborhood, they go down that trail. It's a shortcut to go to the stores too. And I like to go down there instead of driving all the time. It's too hot to wear a jacket even though it's cooler than it has been. But I, I just wanted to go all Terminator style because that's me. The problem is going to be terminated. I'm gonna look all around the garage just to make sure. I wanna be 100% positive that my flashlight was taken. I mean, it was in that spot when I last put it down and then it's gone. And then I'm seeing in the video footage, this guy's bending down and walking away with something in his hand, which looks about the same size as my flashlight. So I'm not 100% positive, but it just looks like that to me. And I, I, I don't know. I couldn't actually see the person putting anything on my bike, but he was standing right there. And this, the, the ring footage was choppy, which I don't understand why this has been happening to me lately. It's like things have been just malfunctioning in this house. But after he left, I noticed there was something there on the bike. He was right near that bike, hovering around it. So that leads me to believe that he had to put it there, but I'm not one to, to blame anybody for anything unless I have 100% proof and what if it's the possibility this person went to the wrong house because there are similar houses in this neighborhood? I'm trying to always give somebody the benefit of the doubt, but it all just seems like it points to this person who was yelling at me when I was going down that bike trail. It just all doesn't make sense to me. None of it. So I'm going to wait a week or so after going through the neighborhood, checking with some of the neighbors and finding out if anybody's had anybody that fits that description go to their house. Because maybe it's an honest mistake. Maybe the person came and, and realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm at the wrong place. Maybe he was just admiring my bike. I don't know. Like I said, if I'm going to share it here on my channel, I have to make sure it's 100% that I know for sure that this person took anything or left a note if I'm going to share it. And I'm not going to say so if I don't know so. So let's make the assumption that until this person is proven to have taken my flashlight and has left that note on my bike, then we have to assume that he didn't. But that's just me. Because I don't like to point fingers and blame anybody because I don't have solid proof on my video cameras because the one inside got choppy. And I understand why, because there has been problems in my garage. And we all know when it comes to what's been happening in my garage with the paranormal, there's a lot of energy from those batteries and there's a lot of interference with my cameras in that garage. And sometimes it'll just freeze. But in the meantime, I'm not giving up until I find out who left that note in my garage. And I still gotta find where my flashlight is. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's bad enough that somebody came here. They put that note on my bike. Now I'm hearing sounds in the house. I thought, I would at least have a break from that. So now I got two things going on. 
It's bad enough one of the things has to happen. Now I got both. Yeah, because it's getting dark. That's why. That's what's happening. When it gets dark, these other things happen. I'm surprised that somebody came to my house during the day. Garage door is open. Tesla's in the driveway. Who would just walk in the driveway and do that? That's why I'm a little confused, thinking maybe they thought they belonged in the driveway and I just misplaced my flashlight and someone else stuck something on there and my camera just didn't catch it because the one in the garage, it's unpredictable. And the one outside sometimes gets that way because it's getting interference. I don't know if it's because of the, the batteries in there. It has a wire wireless transmitter in there to send the signals between the batteries, you know, the whole home backup system. Or because the paranormal, huh, you know, because why not? I mean, that just seems to be a thing that's happening in this house, right? If you think about it, it's got to be paranormal. What, what's, what's the other explanation there? I decided to ride my bike to Walmart. I'm going to get a few things and then ride my bike back. I take this trail that takes me to the store, so that's what I'm doing. This is like a little shed that's sitting out here on the bike trail that leads near to the highway. My assumptions is anybody can go inside here. I mean, it's sitting right off the bike trail, so I don't see why not. But uh, yeah, can I have something to drink? You know, got my water. I like to just drink my water when I'm off the bike instead of trying to drink it while I'm biking. But uh, yeah, let me do that. Hey, it's got a. Uh, it's got the thermal barrier in here, so at least it keeps some of the uh, the heat out of here, you know, from the uh, the sun, the rays from the sun, keeps the heat out. That's pretty cool. Today's Tuesday, October 24th, and I'm in this room. It's got interesting stuff in here. What's going on? Hold up. Here we go. I hear something down there. Yo. Do you hear that? No, do you hear that? All right, there is something in those woods there. There's something in the barn. I just heard something. You guys just hear that? Hair black pussy, bushy cat, whatever it's called. Bushy. Bushy, bushy, bushy. There's a cat back in there somewhere. It's the, it's the bushy cat. It's the bushy cat. It's going to come out of the bushes. You hear that? Oh, that's just a mailbox. Wasn't the, wasn't the cat right there, guys? It was right there. Yeah, it was right there. And we was like... And all it would do is his eyes like, oh. All right. Is that what's going on? They're having a Halloween party? Down here somewhere? <laughs> Halloween party. Oh, what is that? Bushy cat, that's a dog. The bushy cat's in the bush over there.
Oh, he just said Bushy the cat. <laughs> he just said Bushy the cat. <laughs> oh, I thought he said Bushy the cat. Oh, Lucy. Oh, my God. Okay. The dog. I thought it was Bushy the cat. See, we were about right here, Gracie, and it just ran right across. I was like, I don't care about that cat. I was more worried about that dog. How does that sound? <laughs> Alright. Man, that dog is still barking. It's like Roxy. Alright, yeah, that's where that cat hides. And it thought we were mice one time before. Still there, so yeah. You don't want to be spotlighted. <laughs> the cat will say, oh, there's the target. We see you now. It might belong over there, you never know. There's no telling. Oh, man, that is creepy. Oh. Yeah. My gosh. <gasps> Whoa. My gosh, that's pretty scary. I don't know. Oh, Pumpkin's just sitting there. Pumpkin! Look at the stars. <laughs> what the world? <laughs> Gonna be, oh, I'm blinded. I gotta put this down. Hey, isn't it on the bumper, man? He says, he says, isn't it on the bumper, man? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Is that how you're gonna run when that bushy cat comes out of the bushes? <laughs> Look out, there's the cat! <laughs> That's pretty much how the cat would sit but stare. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there's ghosts up here. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know. Maybe she got cat scratch fever. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm a sushi roll. There's no telling what's back in there. Could be anything. Hey, what's up? Hey, I can't see, man. <laughs> where am I going, man? I can't see. Now, where's the street path? I'm just going to cross the street. I'm blind, man. It was the night of Halloween. I did the Muffin Man dance. And what we discovered was something very scary. Bushy cat! <laughs> hey, I'm blind, man. I don't know where I'm going, man. <laughs> we're Labrador, man. <laughs> we gotta go up the hill, man. We gotta go all the way up to the top, man. Hey, you're gonna go first, man. No, man. We're gonna go together, man. I'm trying to walk fast because the bushy cat had spotted us and uh, <laughs> if we don't walk fast, we're going to get cat scratch fever. Wait, you ready? Uh, you want to like, walk around this way? Yeah. Okay. Never know. That's when you might find something. Could be in the sand, could be in the water. No telling. So the Red Antarctica app it pointed us to here and we were already here, so it already anticipated that we were gonna be having to go here. I've never had that happen. Yeah. Where it like sends you to the same location that you're already at. Wow. Never. It's kinda it's just the whole day's been kind of strange. Like there's been this this force trying to stop us from coming here. Yeah. You know? And I don't know, you know, I've had those days where just everything happens and it's just tries to prevent you from doing that one thing you planned on doing it's like that weather yeah didn't have my hit and i'm thinking is is that mean something bad's gonna happen and, and some kind of force is trying to stop us from doing this yeah so maybe maybe we're gonna discover something <laughs> whoa 
It's hard to walk in Eastland. It's man. just a coincidence, maybe, <laughs> too. Maybe possible, yeah. Even Tiffany was like, you should go out. Like, obviously, there's something trying to stop you from going out. Maybe I was like, man, I've been wanting to go out in the water so long. Yeah. I love yeah. going out in the water. It's nice. Beautiful. Man, that sand feels so soft. Yeah. Gonna find me some seafood. Well, I can find it out here. Get some, see if I got some, got some crabs out here. Not the kind of crabs that crawl over you. Oh, look at it. Thunder, oh boy. We just gotta find a low spot so we don't get struck. Is there anything low? Wait a minute. Shit, there's no low spot. <laughs> Time to dig a hole. Wait a minute, what's that? Sponge? Ooh. Yeah, check this out. What the heck is that? That's one of those sponges, I think. Yeah. Yeah, see that? Ooh. Wow. Oh, bro, look at this. Whoa. Could this be what the thing brought us to? No. You don't think? There's got to be some more here. Maybe. Let, I don't know. That's crazy, though. I mean, if we're only a few feet Whoa. Huh. We're on my ski over there, and there are a couple boats out here, but that's really it. Like, what? Is the boat just... Uh, this could have happened during a real bad storm. Yeah. Or that could have happened, like, out wow. the Gulf. The Gulf's right there. Maybe a wow. boat was lost at sea, you know? Like... Capsized. There's no telling, like what's what, what's behind. It's like could did somebody get hurt? And, you know, is something happened to somebody? It wasn't a very big boat either. Yeah. Like a, I'd say between 18 and 25 feet boat. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Maybe that person was the one that was like having these this force that's a, that's trying to stop them from doing something, and they were resisting that force. And then, <laughs> oh no! Don't I better say not. That. I better not. <laughs> no. There's a couple people. Here. Sponge, SpongeBob. Yeah, there's a lot of sponges out here. I tell you, definitely a lot of sponges. Wow, this side is really clean. Beautiful. Now this island yeah. just keeps going. I didn't realize how big this island is. Yeah. Wow. Look at that watercolor. Now you can see a little bit of that that the green and the blue in there. Really beautiful. Do some more exploring. Uh, go look around. We're gonna check out this boardwalk here. Something led us here. I think it was in that boat was talking about that. This hole. Whoa, whoa, look at this fish. Pretty cool. You know, you can't have the rainbow wow. without the nautica. Yes, definitely. Well, that's not nod dicka. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep it in Nautica, Nautica considered like it's oh, like shit. water. Yeah. Nautic. Like nautical miles, you know. Oh, this sand is nice. It feels so good. Does it? It's like untouched sand. Yeah, it's virgin sand. Beautiful. Okay. Either seagulls are pooping on me or it's uh, raining. A little passing sprinkle. 
This yeah. sand is so weird. Whoa. It feels like a like a floor. Yeah. I'll follow you. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Look at this. Uh there could be snakes up in here that might be poisonous snakes. You don't know what's up in here. Something something will cut your leg. There's gotta be a way to that boardwalk. Yeah. Yeah, the only way is that dock that says keep 150 feet away. <laughs> That's the only way there, really. All right. So far, we haven't fallen through yet. It's kind of, kind of iffy. You know, be one board away from breaking your leg off, falling through or something. Oh, Ow, yeah. It looks like they tried putting new nails. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, those are new nails. The boards look kind of like they're rotten a little bit. Yeah. How old do you think this boardwalk is? This? Oh gosh, probably almost as old. Probably about as old as that right there, like 1800s. Remember no. that? No. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this probably. Maybe 30, 40 years? It's possible. I mean, it could have been something here before. I don't know. We can always look at history. Yeah. Maybe 20 years? It just it just looks like pretty weathered for sure. Yeah. 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 Imagine if this brick part was here forever. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. What is this? Whoa. Look at that. Come here though. Yeah. So maybe these bricks were here just as long as that then, huh? It's possible, huh? Pretty cool. Probably, yeah, from the eighteen hundreds. So maybe the, the, the um boardwalk was something that was added later. Like I mean it could have been maybe another walkway. Yeah, this definitely looks old. We have it all locked up. Environmental protection property. I wonder what's back there. Probably uh, somebody with rifles. <laughs> I don't know. More, more creatures. Oh, there it is. Come over there and check that out. The lighthouse. And that long boardwalk. Then go. Is it a race? Is it two of them? Oh look, he's in there. Oh yeah. He's scared. Sure. Look, look at him, yeah! Woo! What Whoa. the hell is that? I don't know, they might bite. That's like a snail or some shit. <laughs> I think he, he was trying to. He was like eating something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think he was uh, having a meal, and uh, I guess we might have interrupted a little bit there. Found another guy. <laughs> this guy's a little yeah. meaner than the other one. Yeah, it might bite your fingers. 